Let's have a look at an advanced quantum mechanics exam. Years ago, I was actually using this paper to revise for the University of Manchester Advanced Quantum Mechanics 2. So this particular paper was given on the 2nd of June, 2010, and it's normally taken by third or fourth year students or some postgraduates. And also remember that before you got to do this course, you did the standard quantum mechanics in year one. And then in year two, you would have done a course on vector space in bracket notation, which enables you to take advanced quantum mechanics one, which is all about non-relativistic quantum mechanics and numerical methods. And then finally you get to do some relativistic quantum mechanics in advanced quantum mechanics too. So this is the exam for that. Okay, electronic calculators may be used provided they cannot store text. It's actually quite funny. I don't think a calculator would be of any use to this exam. Oh, look at this. We've got some integrals that are given we've got the Gaussian integral right over here. We're given the Klein-Gordon equation, which is a relativistic equation in quantum mechanics for spinless particles. We also have the Dirac equation in scalar and vector potential field. We have some standard matrices and they've kindly given us the Dirac equation in a spherical potential. Okay, question one, find a condition on the operator. Don't actually remember this operator. I think it was a symmetry operator so that the operator e to that is unitary. Question two is all about path integration. So show the transition amplitude for a particle described by the classical Hamiltonian is given by the following path integral which is one of those classic derivations. I really like how at the end of this question you may wish to use this integral. I'm so glad that this is given. Seriously does this win the award for one of the longest integrals given in an exam. And this question finishes by evaluating this path integral for a whopping 13 marks. Question three, an electron experiences a homogeneous magnetic field along the Z axis. Name two different gate choices that can be used to describe the situation and write down the corresponding vector fields. And then it moves on to the Dirac equation once again, which is really one of the core focuses of, um, of, of this exam. I think when I actually took this exam, which would have been a couple years after this paper, it was the simple harmonic oscillator in quantum mechanics that came up. This was probably one of the most interesting courses in quantum mechanics that I've taken. If you're interested in quantum mechanics, you need to have a look at this video on the latest Nobel Prize in physics and quantum entanglement. So just click over here.